Hello my soccer universe. Well, last part of the day is making my video and I've been looking forward to that one. Um, we're gonna look at another jersey from my collection. I'm wearing a white Milan away jersey from a 9-10 season. Actually it's the counterpart to this beauty here with the Maldini last jersey that he ever wore, last home jersey. Uh, this is a player version. I think I have it somewhere on my channel, uh, the review of that, that, that one. It's a very cool shirt, especially since it doesn't have any sponsors. That's it's directly from the Milan kit room from classic soccer shirts, football shirts. Now, uh, I'm wearing this for a reason, because this is the closest jersey I have um, to the one that Milan wore in 1990. European Cup final, Champions League final, which was the first European Cup final that I ever saw. And the jersey that I'm showing you is the one from the opposition. Benfica. This beauty surely is the oldest jersey in my collection. It's not the oldest in terms of me having it, but it's the oldest jersey by none. I got it last November. Uh, short story i think i said it in the video in the unpacking video um i saw this jersey and you know not particular uh benfica fan in fact i don't really have a real favorite in portugal i have to say but i remember benfica is the first uh team that i knew because that was the team that was in that final and I happened to see this jersey on this local flea market page, uh, Wilhaben, it's called. And I saw it for 40 euros and I said, yeah, maybe a little bit. Uh, if it's not taken that quickly, I might get this later on. 40 euros is still a little bit too much, although this is a very old jersey and, you know, I love my early 90s, late 80s jerseys. I mean, I don't, this is the first 80s jersey that I have. And then, I think this was September, and then I saw the price dropping, October was 30, I said, hmm, yeah, now it gets more a possibility. And I think it was the first Saturday in November, and I got an old notification, price dropped, to tw uh, the price dropped, and I checked it out, 20 bucks, and I immediately shot, I want to have this one. Um, I was informed it's not <laughs> a brand new jersey, duh, I mean, this is uh, 30 years old. But it is gorgeous, I have to say. Yes, you can tell it is 30 years old. Uh, the one thing in the European Cup final, they did not wear this FNAC sponsor. And I'm not 100%, but I know the FNAC that I know was a bookstore in France that we loved to go when we were in France. I mean, I was forced to study French in school for four years. And when we visited in Paris, everyone said, you have to check out FNAC, you have to check out FNAC. I think that's that one. It's also my first Hummel jersey, and you see here the chevrons on the side. Unfortunately, it was folded, so the chevrons are a little bit dented as well. But yeah, uh, I know I should get a Denmark Hummel jersey, which would be very similar to that one, but I'm very happy that I have this one. Look at the crest. This is um, very plastic. I'm gonna put it a little bit closer. Uh, gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and then you can already see the shadow pattern in there i don't know exactly what it is but it is definitely interesting let's see if you it's very hard with the light but i think you can see there's a quite some structure to it uh, that i absolutely adore on those jerseys it's very very interesting it makes it this, this, this is something that should happen way more often on soccer jerseys because it gives it an interesting look. Do I need to say that the color is gorgeous? I think this is perfect. Even with the red lines here, absolutely gorgeous. Now, there are two downsides. First of all, and I know I can, I can I gotta give this to my mother or someone. There's a little hole here uh, in the armpit, on the left armpit. The right armpit doesn't have it. Uh, and then on the back, there's a whole lot of messy stuff. I made a number seven, that's all right. I think it was even the style that they were wearing it, but look closer. Uh, there is some printing and I actually tried to get rid of it. I just couldn't. Uh, this one 
says auto service so i think uh, in cyrillic letters so i think this is probably from serbian and or russian and there was a number seven here as well so there was i tried to ask the owner from what this is he couldn't tell me he said he got this or he got this as a gift so i don't know the story but it's very interesting there is some uh car repair shop who had this jersey it's just absolute it's one of the weirder things i'm trying now to figure out this pattern here because there ah the pattern says actually homer i have to see this i think it says homer yeah h-u-m-m-e-l all over that's interesting see the things you figure out while watching a video uh Try to put it close. I'm, 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 I'm sure the camera will not pick it up that well that you can, that you will be able to read that it says Homer here, but maybe you can make out some letters. Yeah, uh, I do like these pants. I'm actually quite happy with the number. I, I even don't mind. I mean, I got this for twenty years, but this to me is still a little bit of an enigma. Uh, does it soil the jersey slightly to your mind? Not really. I'm not planning to wear this a lot out because it's an old jersey that needs to be taken care of carefully and also it's a jersey that I will maybe wear when Benfica is playing and I need a Benfica jersey. But hey, 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 I got at least not exactly a specification. It, wouldn't, it would be without sponsor, but this was the jersey that was worn in the 1990 European Cup final in Vienna. Fika losing 1-0 to Milan since then I'm for sure a Milan fan although all my classmates were already crazy crazy about Milan Frank Reichert scoring the decisive goal I think after an assist by Van Basten and yeah great jersey let me know what you think about this jersey any ideas uh, anything you might want to add give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and many others I'll talk to you soon tomorrow Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.